Hello everybody, um, today I'm gonna be doing a tag, yes, I know, I'm so behind on my tags, I know, <laughs> a lot of people say this too, and I'm not gonna say I, you know, 5,000 times, I promise. Um, uh, I'm gonna be working on catching up on it, some of these I was tagged in a few months ago, but it's been less than a year, so, haha! <laughs> Anyway, uh, tonight's tag is the Genre Buster Book Tag. I was tagged by my friend Jazz at Shiny Thing Reviews. I'll link her channel down below. And it was created by uh, a booktube couple. Their channel is Book Axe, and their names are Lucy and Scott. And if I can find their channel, I will also link it down below. There are seven questions in this tag, so... I'm going to be looking down because there's no way in heck I had time to, well I did have time, but I had other things to do, so I, besides study my script and memorize it, so, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, question number one, do you prefer books that develop characters in depth or books with a fast paced plot? And my choice is well developed characters, because if the characters suck, I don't care about the book. So there. Um, two, do you prefer lighthearted, optimistic books? Oh yes, I read so many of those. Uh, or uh, books that explore the darker side of life? Both, because life has both, so... I like escapism mostly, but there's no like fantasy books where you go, oh my gosh, we're holding hands and skipping through the forest. And, yeah, that's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. I just want all the characters I love to make it through the series alive. I don't mind if they get injured. I don't mind if they have to recover or go through ups and downs and all that. I don't care about that. That's all cool, all good. It's just I don't want any of them to die. Last page of the book. And she died. Like, no. If I wanted real life, I would read nonfiction. I mean, anyway. Uh, question three Do you prefer books that get straight to the point? Sorry, straight to the point. <laughs> or books that challenge language and style? Straight to the point. I like straight shooters. I don't like this, all this flowery, big words. Oh, look it. I'm so s smart. Meh. People don't talk, most people don't talk like that, and most people don't think like this. Mm, just straightforward. Anyway, straight to the point. Right there. Uh, question four. Do you prefer books that introduce you to new ideas and issues, or books that purely aim to entertain? That rhymed. Uh, mostly entertain. But if the topic is something I'm interested in and, and I want to learn more about, then, you know. Anyway, um, question five. Do you enjoy books with, like, graphic descriptions of violence, swearing, etc., or actively avoid them? Well, let's see. I don't mind swearing. Don't mind sex if it's between two, uh, it's between to people in a loving, committed relationship, but I don't need gory details on the violence. That I believe it or not, I've seen all the episodes of Game of Thrones, which is completely graphic, and I heard the books are like way worse. But um, in that aspect, there's certain. The only reason I keep watching the show is because of certain characters that my favorite characters I want to see them make it through to the end of the show otherwise I would I would totally quit it but that's the only graphic violent thing and even then I just kind of like fast forward through the skip those scenes if they get too bad anyway so I'm fine with um swearing I'm fine with love making but I, violence just like you can describe without giving me the smells and the, you know, the graphic details and stuff. It's like, no, nah, I don't need that. 
I no, I'll literally skip that part of the book. Seriously. Anyway, that was long winded, but you know, anyway. <laughs> Uh, s question six, do you typically go for specific genres and why? Yes. Fantasy, urban fantasy mostly, um, paranormal. Those are my favorites. Um, I've tried other, I do read other genres. Sometimes I read contemporary, but it has to be kind of like about, like, you know, like more serious topics, not like boy meets girl, girl meets boy. They both have tragic back, you know, bad backgrounds or whatever. And then they get together. They they have miscommunication, break up, and they don't get together until the end of the book. And yeah, those are so played out. But anyway, but if it's about like I, the storyline is interesting, the characters are interesting, then I'll read contemporary. But not there's like. It's not my usual genre, um, yeah, basically fantasy and paranormal. I mean, I, I'm not saying I, I have tried, I've read sci-fi, I've read historical fiction, I've read, uh, contemporary, um, I'm trying to read a, a few thrillers for, you know, October, not horror, but just, you know, thrill, mystery thrillers. Oh, I like mysteries too. They're done right. Um, anyway. Uh, question seven. What's your favorite genre busting book? I don't even, I don't even know. I honestly can't think of any or even quite get the question completely. I am sharp as a tack. Really? Uh, okay. And that was the genre busting book tag. Yes, I'm going to do some recording. Bam. Um. Anyway, that was a tag. Um, if you want to do this tag, I tag you. Boop. That probably is nowhere near the camera. Boop. Okay, there you go. Um, and if you do do the tag uh, and you want to share the link with me, I will be ha more than happy to check it out. Thank you for watching. Peace.